Hey, what's up everyone? It's Wolfman here again, and I figured I'd do another unboxing video because it's been a while since I did my last one. The last one I did was, I believe, in July of last year when I unboxed my Samsung Galaxy Tab. But here I am with another product that I'm really excited to unbox because it is a product I paid a lot of money for, and I am really looking forward to use the, using this from now on when I shoot videos, whenever I go bowling or anything else. This is the Sony Cybershot DSC HX30 V camera, and this is a compact mega zoom camera in their line of a lot of cameras that they have. And the Sony's really come out with a lot of cameras over the last couple years in general. A um, few things to go over on this box before I uh, take it apart and play around with it a little bit. Um, 18 times 18.2 megapixels. I was about to say. Uh, 18 times zoom but actually 20 times optical zoom which is pretty amazing for the camera of this kind of line um, not many cameras you see have more than um, I, I mean most of the cameras you see today like that most people use don't even have more than five times optical zoom but this is a mega compact mega zoom and it can do up to 20 times which is pretty amazing for its line now this is the HX 30 V and um, there is another model exactly like this called the HX20V that they um, released. This Both these models have been out for, I want to say, the last month and a half, I believe. But um, the big difference, though, is the fact that the HX30V has built-in Wi-Fi. The HX20V doesn't. And um, the Wi-Fi makes this camera $20 more expensive than the HX20V. The HX20V is $399.99, and the HX30V is $419. 99 but I had a lot of Amazon gift cards so that kind of helped when buying this a um, couple other things to go over 40 times clear image zoom which I probably won't be using much of but as you see Wi-Fi certified um, I like the proprietary batteries as well the G series so that means that I have another camera um, that uses that kind of battery which is my Sony Cybershot DSC W230 camera which I've shot many videos for before especially anime Boston um, Full high definition movie. I mean, this thing is 18.2 megapixels, so obviously it's got to be full HD, full HD in terms of how good the movie is. Uh, let's, let's turn the box over. Optional accessories. We don't need to know that about that. Supplied accessories. If you can see that AC adapter, rechargeable battery pack, micro USB cable. That's another thing I like about this camera because I have another CyberShot that um charges only with a specific Sony cable but this uses micro USB so that's a good thing because I also um, charge my smartphone with that so in case I need to use that I can just charge it that way and it also has a wrist strap so you can see another thing I really like is the fact it takes both memory stick and um, SD cards because I have my a bunch of Sony memory sticks for my PSP that I've used but I also use it for this camera now and also for the camera that I'm holding which is my HX 100 V camera that I'm using to shoot this video as we speak HDMI works with PS3 uh, let's see if there's anything else we need to know oh a nice Mac symbol and um, you see I still haven't unwrapped it yet so that's how excited I am for this camera uh, a couple other things outside of the box and the top of the box if you can see it here um, up to 320 images per charge of the battery, which is, I mean, I'm not really exactly sure how much my other one, my other cameras take, but, um, I'm just hoping that it'll be able to last me, but the good thing is I do have another battery, so, and, and one thing I really like about this camera is the fact that if you can see that in very small letters, instead of made in the country that we all know where all of our stuff comes from, this is made specifically in Japan so that's a very good thing uh, of course all the accessories are made in China but the ca camera itself is made in Japan so that means that we're definitely getting a high quality camera out of this entire box right here so now it's time to unwrap the goods so, so, to, so to speak so I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this so I guess I'll rest this on my my camera on my knee here don't want to take an arrow to the knee though and we'll if we can cut this open. All right, I think that I got that. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, so 
take home the box. Limited warranty. I mean, this is what I've seen in all the other boxes anyways. Limited warranty. Receive 15% off your next purchase of select accessories. Play memories, which I believe is what you need to have in terms of if you're connecting this to your computer for Wi-Fi usage. Oh wow, they have a manual in Japanese and in English too. I'm guessing that's Japanese. Yeah, it has to be. 15% off, again, eligible accessories. Here's the actual manual itself, digital still camera. And we take open this, and we got all the other goods here. First thing, this is the battery pack that you have to charge everything in. Plugs into US, USB port, plug in right there, plugs into the wall. One thing to know <coughs> is that if you've seen this camera, um, when they first advertised this camera, they said it, it supported wireless charging, which only the uh, DSC TX 300V, I believe, supports right now, which um, they've shown before, where instead of like using something like this, they have an actual dock where you just lay your camera on, and the dock itself is connected to um, the computer via USB, I believe, and you just lay your camera on that dock. Like it doesn't even need to be plugged into anything. You just lay it right down, and it automatically starts charging the camera wirelessly, and it um, connects it to your PC. And at first, when they described this camera on Amazon when they were releasing it, well, I mean before they officially released it, they um, said that it supported that, but come to find out, it doesn't because this is the only thing that they give you in terms of charging the camera. So before we get to the actual camera, a couple other accessories, obviously the G-Series battery, which I have another one of, so that is a good thing. It means I can, I already have a spare battery to back me up on. There's the camera right there. Here is the U micro USB cable. And we finally have the nice wrist strap. And now, here is the item that I paid a hefty amount of money for. Let me just move this out of the way here. And there it is, the HX30V camera. It's pretty bulky in turn, like compared to other um, digital cameras that you see in general, but still, I mean, very nice looking. Um, again, as you can see, it looks pretty, well, let me see if I can, all right, there we go. Let's see if I can get this better look here. So as you can see, it um, it's pretty bulky from the side, it's pretty thick. I'd say it's at least, more than an inch thick here on uh, 20 times optical zoom it has the built-in flash at the top here which is something i might need to get used to because all my other cameras have the flash built in like right around here but on um, full hd movie i mean it has the label on it um let's go over to the side here and you can also see built-in wi-fi and gps haven't really used gps much in terms of tagging photos but wi-fi also really helps though in general so that's going to be a big plus for me on the back here you have the movie button which is what I use my other cameras for 99% of the time except the anime boss the anime boss is when I use this for also for photos a lot and you have the wheel and everything the uh, review um, button here menu and then the trash button which is something we don't want to see well let's take really bad photos and you can see it's still attached to this tag right here I'm not even sure why the tag is on there, but I'll take it off after. You have all the modes here and everything. Um, other than that, I mean, there's nothing really much I need much more I need to describe. Stereo microphones, which is also nice. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple in terms of uh, figuring out how everything works in this camera. You open this. You have the memory card slot and the battery slot. Take it apart here. So that's pretty much the uh, camera itself for you guys. Um, I guess we'll put in this battery here. We'll see how it works. Just give me a second here. So we'll take open this. If I can figure this out. There we go. I'll take this open right here. And we will put this battery in. Turn this on. Does power on, right? So, cyber shot. 
language setting, English obviously, uh, area setting, New York, well, I'm closest to New York, so that's all right. Month, date, year, yep, daylight savings time is officially on. And the date right now is May, I believe it's May, oh no, it's May 17th, 2012, and right now the time is roughly 3.20 p.m. Oops, it says 3.20 a.m., which is not exactly how I want that to be. Select the display color. We'll just let it be that. Set GPS mode, off. Display resolution, standard. Don't really need high definition displayed right now. And there we go. So it's pretty much all set. And as you can see, if you look from the side here, this is how far the camera extends when you're going the full 20 times zoom. That's pretty crazy in terms of how much zoom capability this thing has. But still, overall, it's a very good camera. I'm definitely going to be using this camera tonight. I'm probably going to go bowling tonight with this thing. And um, we'll see how it works out. So that was my that's my HX30V unboxing video. And um, Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I definitely would consider getting this camera in general because Sony has really come out with a lot of good cameras over the last couple years in general, and um, they're going to continue to make really good ones like in the future as well. And this is probably one of their probably one of their best um, in terms of if you need something compact that can really capture a lot because for one thing it is 18 megapixels, so that goes a long way in terms of producing good photos but also just full HD video 1080p at 60 frames per second which is another really big um, thing to note when you're buying this camera it does panoramas 3d photos um, you name it it pretty much does it so for a mega zoom it's um, probably one of the best in its class so hope you guys enjoyed all of this uh, uh, this giant unboxing video because certainly went through a lot to unbox this but I certainly enjoyed it myself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys all later.